Let's welcome back to the show House Foreign Affairs Congressman Greg Stubbe. Congressman, your take on this. We've got growing, rising leaks against the president coming out of the White House. Reuters reporting that the Pentagon is basically saying that the State Department and Homeland Security were too slow, lack of urgency in evacuating Americans out of Afghanistan. But those two agencies, Reuters says, is now pointing the finger at the president in the White House saying he was too slow. The leaks keep coming. Your reaction, Congressman? Yeah, I think you're going to see that continue to happen as nobody wants to take responsibility for what occurred in Afghanistan. So, of course, you're going to see the finger pointing. But at the end of the day, President Biden is the pre president, the commander in chief of our military. Uh, the State Department was in charge of the operations on the ground in Afghanistan. Uh, so the Department of Defense was responding to what they were telling them to do. But at the end of the day, President Biden is responsible for the decisions that were made in Afghanistan. He was the one that had this arbitrary date and pulled our forces out before every American could get on a bird and fly to safety. That is unconscionable. Never in the history of our country did I think that we would be standing in a place where our president and our government has abandoned American citizens behind enemy lines. You know, Politico also report, reporting that White House officials are saying they are, quote, horrified, appalled about how Americans were abandoned behind terror lines. So the, the leaks are going to keep on coming. We've got this new geopolitical landscape after Afghanistan, how the administration handled it. We're going to be dealing this, with this for years to come. There's also the issue with China. Now, the White House press secretary, Congressman, is saying that basically that the, it is wrong to think that China can undercut U.S. leverage with the Taliban claiming, quote, that, the, the, that China does not have the capacity for that. Is that true? That's the White House press secretary saying that. Well, uh, there, it's not true because China is a heck of a lot closer to Afghanistan than the United States is. And now that we've withdrawn all of our military forces, we have nobody nearby to monitor and surveil Russia, to monitor and surveil China. So who do you think is going to come in? China's already brokered deals with the Iranian government uh, and their roads and bridges projects. You're absolutely going to see Russia and China sweep in. You already saw one of the China foreign ministers meeting with the head of the Taliban. They're already starting to have discussions. And think about all of the military equipment, Black Hawks, C-130s, weapons, night vision goggles that now can be handed over to our enemies, China, Russian, the Iranians, they're going to give them all of our secrets and all of our equipment so they can reverse engineer it and use it against us. The, the, we are going to be feeling the implications of what has happened in Afghanistan for decades. You know, and now China state media is saying the U.S. should take in Afghan refugees. We are a generous, welcoming country, but China's not taking in any refugees. That's according to media reports. But it does st stand poised to make a lot of money off of uh, Afghanistan's rich mineral resources. Your final word on that? Well, of course, China's going to say that when they have millions of Uyghurs in concentration camps. So, of course, they're not going to allow any other Afghans to come into their country and tell us that we need to take more in when we've already taken over 100,000, 120,000 people from Afghanistan. But our focus should not be on refugees. Our focus should be on the American citizens that are still stuck behind enemy lines in Afghanistan. And I call on President Biden, Department of Defense, and the administration to go in and get our Americans out. All right, Congressman Greg Stubbe, thanks for joining us. It's good to